as with everything in songwriting, a lot of it is instinct. And many songwriters, many famous songwriters, don't even know music theory. So you could say that their whole approach is about instinct and just working things out, playing things through without really thinking about it. Maybe they have an ability to finish songs without really thinking about it. On the other approach, you might have someone who's completely based in music theory, maybe from a classical background, who writes everything out in musical scores. Theory ability means that they can reach for what they want to hear and write it down in music without too much problem. The best approach is probably somewhere between the two. You want to be able to make instinctive decisions with your songwriting and then reach for music theory maybe to finish something off or maybe to take you in a new direction. The one thing that can really help you here is practice and experimentation. The more you practice something, the easier it becomes. To practice songwriting, you might just say, today I'm gonna to write a song. Sometimes I think what works well is to set yourself some constraints. So you could say, today I'm gonna to write a song in the key of C major, for example. Once you've set yourself some constraints, then that means that you've got a framework to work within. Often when you're starting with songwriting and say you're taking your instinctive approach, you've technically got the whole of music available to you. You've got every avenue you could go down. Whereas if you start constraining things, so you constrain the key, maybe you constrain a few chords within that key. Maybe you say, I'm just gonna write a melody or I'm just gonna write a riff and that gets you going, that's your starting point. So maybe you need to work out what constraints are around the type of music you like. Maybe look at some artists that particularly resonate with you, look at what key they write their songs in, look at what chords they use, look at what song structures they use, and that could be your initial constraint. There isn't really a formula for songwriting. I think a lot of people think, well, if I learn music theory, then I will unlock the code to writing great songs or the secrets to, to a song. But we're not talking about mathematics here. We're talking about songwriting. It's art, it's creativity. Yes, there are established things that over time are used more commonly than others. If you're going for a formulaic approach, then you're just going to write formulaic songs. And that's not really where great songwriting comes from. The instinct that you began with to create that line can also be your route to completing it. Maybe you're not going to complete it in that one sitting. Maybe you're going to have to come back to it in a day or a week or a month. Maybe you're going to need to write another part of the song or attempt to write another part of the song and then come back to that part to try and finish it. Again, this is where the constraints might come in because the constraints will limit the theoretical side in a way. You're kind of boxed in with that. Then you have to use your creativity to break out of that box. That can often get you to finish something. Another good tactic for finishing things is to set a time limit. Say you've gone through this approach and you've tailed off, get out a timer or set a timer on your phone and just put 30 minutes on it or 10 minutes on it and just get it done. I think the problem with a lot of songwriters is that they get in their head and they're, they're seeking for perfection where you don't need perfection here. If it's just about getting something done, then you just need to get it done. And maybe that's a psychological barrier you can get over that leads to you finishing more songs whether that's instinctively or through music theory. You can always come back later and refine things. Just getting something finished will be a first hurdle for you. And something like setting a time limit can get you over that initial hurdle. Maybe there isn't a missing piece. Maybe you have everything you need to finish the song. In your mind, you're just kind of, you're reaching for something that you think will finish it. It's kind of like the silver bullet, but that probably doesn't exist. If you want to listen to the full podcast, then head over to writersongnow.com and sign up to my weekly emails. And if you want more clips like this, then watch the playlist on screen now.